Oh, hello everyone. Here we are again uh, over at Chagford Cricket Club on the occasion of President's Day. It's the 31st of July. It's just around 12 o'clock right now and um, I'm walking around Sun Gimbal today because it's decided it doesn't want to work. We've got a few early arrivals over here coming along having a little chat before we start proceedings. There'll be lunch first. That will be quickly followed by um, a game of cricket which is today going to be a 40 over game. Um, and. Um, President's Day is slightly unusual today in the sense that um, the game is a memorial match for um, Tony Niven who, if you follow my um, peregrinations from the boundary um, over the course of the last year or so, you will know that I spoke about briefly at the end of uh, one of my pieces a little while ago, who sadly passed away in a most untimely manner. Um, not that there can be a timely manner to pass away, to be perfectly truthful with you, um, uh, later in, in, in the, the mid-part of last year. Um, and um, also um, the magnificent Bryce Rundle, who was chairman for many, many years uh, and who passed away, I think, quite close to Christmas of last year. Um, so this is a memorial game to celebrate the lives of those two um, extremely worthy individuals uh, and to um, allow people from Chagford in years gone by to get together and enjoy a game of cricket and some lunch and tea in their memory. Obviously, um, Tony Niven, uh, a man who once met was never forgotten, um, the life and soul of the cricket pitch livened up and uh, lightened many a tense moment with his witty ways and so on and uh, I suspect no one who ever encountered him on the pitch will ever forget the, um, the hat that he used to wear which was emblazoned with the legend bollocks to Blair. Um, anyway, he was a, a terrific character. Um, our other worthy was Bryce Rundle um, who um, boasted many friends, I was least amongst them I would say, um, but uh, was a very close supporter um, particularly when I was uh, privileged enough to captain both second and first teams um, one year after the next um, and uh, was um, always here on a Saturday afternoon and um, could be found uh, in, the, um, in the clubhouse that you can see in centre screen right now um, and uh, was always um, in evidence uh, in his primary seat which was just to the immediate right of the kitchen door uh, and would always, um, I shall stop here for a minute, there's a little bit of rain um, and who would, who would always be there preparing teas uh, and over I think more than 15 years um, to my certain knowledge was um, a priceless asset to, to Chagford Cricket Club running the show, looking after the treasury and so on and so forth, did many many jobs um, I think less involved with the treasury, but it was he did he was involved in, in quite a lot of this kind of stuff, and who passed chairmanship along a few years ago to uh, Chris Mount, and um, we attempt to um, oh, it's still raining. I shall move backwards, um, and we attempt to follow his um, in his footsteps, and um, I suspect that uh, he will be chief amongst many people's memories today, both him and uh, of course Tony Niven. So uh, that's the plan. The game is due to start at about two o'clock or so. There is some rain and clouds scudding over. There was, there was a, a medium amount of, of blue sky when I came. If you look around now, if I look towards the first hill, which is obscured by the trees there, you can see there is some broken cloud there. Um, and if we walk out from underneath the, yonder tall oak tree, um, there is rather a lot of grey cloud there, a bit of break there, but pretty much a covering. But the wind is reasonably strong and allows us um, to think or perhaps suppose that maybe this cloud will blow over and take its bloody rain with it, maybe. Um, we'll just have a quick look at the nets there. Those are the new nets that you've seen up close. Um, and uh, so I'll show you them. It's a three lane net. We'll have a look at them a little bit more closely in the, in the near future. Just the next few minutes, hopefully, if there's no water. I've brought the uh, Chagford Reconnaissance and Panorama drone with me today. And so we may have a flight, although it's fair to say that uh, there are two things that drones don't care for, particularly um, lightweight drones like mine. It's a 249 gram effort. 
One thing they don't like is wind, and the other is rain, of course. So if there's water in the air, I won't take the drone up just yet. And I may come along a bit later on and, um, and do it if, if necessary. My plan was to uh, look in some depth at the ground today, but uh, we'll see what we'll see. Maybe if I walk round towards my tripod, which is over by the sight screen there, perhaps the weather will improve just a little bit between now and then. Um, and we'll see how we get along, shall we? Um, whilst I've run out of things to say, I could also talk just briefly about the principle I've said before of early English cricket. So, of course, today we're playing uh, a limited overs game. And in days gone by, uh, not so very recently, but more recent than you might think, the variant of the game that was played was called early English. Um, the principle was that um, essentially it was, a, I think, a compromise towards um, having a draw basically in every game if you possibly could so that um, all, all honours were satisfied. It works like this. The two sides toss a coin and decide who is to bat first and the side batting first will start at 2 or 2.30 and they will bat until tea time when they can elect to uh, declare their innings. Most do because it's good manners to do so. Um, and then the side coming in will then come in if tea is at five o'clock, for example. The side coming in to bat second will bat and start their innings at 5.30. And they will bat the overs from 5.30 to 6.30. And from 6.30, they will play an agreed number of overs from that stage. So it's normally 20 overs from 6.30, which means the game will, will be finished by about 7.30 or quarter to eight or so, something along that line. Uh, and then a, a result can be declared. If obviously the side batting second gets more runs than the side batting first, that's a victory for them. If the side batting first gets the side batting second all out, that's victory for them. But if the side batting second are still batting at the end of the last over, the game is a draw and as I said honours are satisfied. So I've now arrived at my tripod as you can see. Um, there is water in the sky so I think right now and it's a lighting on the on the tripod you can kind of see it there it's a bit difficult with the contrast on the on the tripod there but um, I'm not going to chance it just yet so what I might do is come out again when maybe the weather's a little bit clearer and give it a go and I'll start another video and I'll stitch the whole thing together for us. We're seven, just under eight minutes at the moment of my jibber jabber. So stand by and what I'll do is I'll kill it off now and maybe come back a little bit later on if the weather allows it. The wind I think is okay. It's the weather, the rain that bothers me particularly because uh, if the drone gets water in it, it'll fall out the sky with, with dismal speed i suspect so uh, there we are so here we are at president's day maybe speak to you a little bit later on when i do a little flyover thanks very much see you in a bit okay well i'm back again um the rain was short-lived and i'm gonna have to i'm gonna try and put the drone up now so um here we go um we rise into the air i'm gonna stitch in the um um the uh footage so um, you'll see some of this and I'll edit out stuff that I don't really want. So here we go. Um, measurements in feet these days because um, I can't, I don't know what metres are all about. So here we go. So I'm flying up now to my location that I want to start from. And we'll see what happens. Now, as you know, with me, I'm quite uh, unable to do two things at once. So what we can see now is, if I look slightly down now, you can see the ground with the Chagford reconnaissance and panorama drone. Um, and what a magnificent place it looks like as well. It's absolutely priceless down here. This is why people like to come here. So We'll have an overfly of the ground. We'll fly down onto towards the pitch. Um, we'll get quite low down there, and then we'll take a little look around and show you a little bit of the um, uh, the um, outlying areas, the nets, and so on and so forth. And we'll go from there. But um, we're facing approximately north now, so we'll be travelling northwards towards the uh, what would would have been called the lower end of the pitch now. So um, here we go. So we'll start travelling forwards and downwards. 
and in we go in onto the pitch now and we'll descend quite rapidly now and down we come and traveling towards the pitch now and there we go we can find ourselves just on the pitch now um, and we're looking at about central about mid wicket here mid mid middle of the of the wicket and you can see the sight screen at one end set up and we'll turn around and face um, due south pretty much and you can see the sight screen at the other end and what we'll now do is we'll rise gently and just perform a little arc here. Oh, no, we want to go up, not down. There we go. And we'll look down as we go. As we go upwards and we're looking at the pitch from, from above now, directly above it. And up we go. Up we go, up we go, and we'll see it from both ends. Oh, I was nearly central there, look at that, eh? What about that? So that's the pitch from above, and what we'll then do is we'll bring the, we'll bring the, um, the camera up to level, and we're at 92 feet at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to around about probably 200 feet so that you can get an idea of, of what things look like and, and the panorama that you can see from there. There's insufficient wind to be bothered about, I think. So up we go still further, gently and gently. So you can begin to see now what a magnificent bowl we live in um, at, at the cricket pitch here. We're at 212 feet now, so we can have a good look around. You can see the road into the ground from there. And if we look further down, there's the uh, there's the the, um, the clubhouse there and the car parking area. Um, and as we move round towards um, the west here, you can see the covers there and the sight screen. Um, some bloke there, don't know what he's doing. Uh, and the trees. So we'll just look back up again, and you can see. That's I think the second of the two hills, the longer one of the two, as it were. So if we move around again. And that's the first of the two hills there, um, and uh, it's um, quite a quite a, um, a job to uh, to um, to travel from <laughs> one of those to the other. These um, people do it as a bit of as a bit of fun. So what we're now going to do is we're going to travel and take a little look at the new nets which are down here. So here we go, um, and we'll just zero in on them and start to move downwards towards them now nice and gently and slowly and forwards to them and here we go there we go and three lane net as you can see it's um, a fairly substantial affair um, the nets behind the, the ground uh, the um, wickets are white um, you would argue wouldn't you that perhaps they ought to be the other end but we manage pretty well, to be honest with you, I would say, and uh, we're here every Thursday. Um, anybody's welcome to come along if they want to take a look at this for themselves and see um, and see the um, the the, uh, the nets and use them. We welcome anybody. So there we go. That's the net there. So I'm going to travel round just quickly here to the other side of the pitch. I'm zeroed in on it now, and we're going to travel across from there. Uh, we're just about 42 feet at the moment, and so. I'm going to move up to around about 50 feet, something like that. And there we go, we're at 52 feet now. We're going to travel across the ground um, and we'll keep the clubhouse on our right. And you can see the equipment bay here, or the equipment shed there, the equipment locker. And I'm going to travel to where the old net was. It's now been disassembled as it happens. Uh, and um, it, will, it will now be a redundant area, which means that no one will be able to use it. But as we come along i'm just going to move down a little bit so you can see exactly what this looks like and uh, there we go moving slightly towards there now and uh, just move a little bit further down and just push ourselves in underneath that tree um, and you can see the um the old uh, the old um wicket there there's a lot of equipment on top of it now 
Um, I'm going to go down and perhaps get a little bit underneath this if I can. Here we go. Just zipping in underneath there. Um, and you can have a little look and see there um, the old, the, the right hand wicket um, is very leaf covered and, and tree covered, you know, sticks and stones and things of this kind get in the way of trying to bat any sense. And the left hand one, we used to have to sweep it, but you could use it. Um, and uh, so all of that equipment has been now taken down. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. So um, we'll, uh, we'll come out of there now and we'll face ourselves out into the middle of the pitch um, towards there now and we're going to travel outwards and upwards there we go upwards and we're then going to turn around to the left here oh we don't want to be too near that we're quite near a, a post there so we'll move just sideways out of the way of that there we go that's that's warnings for me there that's the lighting for the footballists so um, there we go. So what we'll do now is we'll turn and we're going to regard the whole thing sideways from the clubhouse, uh, sorry, from the equipment shed all the way across and um, we'll just move sideways to show you the, um, the, um, the, the whole panorama here. And as we come in front of, oh here's a spot of rain now, that's not good. Um, I don't really want to be um, so I'm going to turn around, come back and get under shelter quickly now. Um, let's move to sport mode now. Obstacle avoidance has been uh, avoided. And we'll come in and land a bit quickly now. And down we go. And I'm going to call it a day there because the rain has come a little bit and I don't really want that to get in the way of the, of the drone. It doesn't like them. So a little view of everything there. I was going to show you some other things, but I'll do that another day. So thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the game this afternoon. Bye for now.